Hello everybody, this is Pastor Randy. I want to talk about soul tie today. I want to talk about soul tie because there's a lot of misunderstanding around soul tie. There's a lot of misunderstanding, misconceptions, uh, false teachings, and false, uh, false understanding over that. And um, I'll start with this. The Bible says that my people perish by lack of knowledge. The power of the devil is as long as you don't know. You know, lack of knowledge gives power to the enemy. It's the reason why, as a believers, we have to seek knowledge. We have to study the word. We have to seek the Lord for revelation to open up things happening in our lives and the cause of certain things happening to us. So today, I want to talk about soul tie. So there's a two kind of soul tie that uh, soul ties. I mean, the two kind of soul ties that uh, somebody will meet out there. There's two kind of soul ties. The first soul ties, I call it holy soul ties. Holy soul ties is a, a soul ties uh, made in a marriage. It's a holy, it, uh, it's coordinated by God, it's ordained by God, it's protected by God. And that's the first soul tie. And the second soul tie, it's a soul tie under marriage. You know, outside marriage, I mean outside marriage. So now, before we talk about the holy soul tie and our holy soul tie, what is a soul tie? The so, a soul tie is a joining of two souls spiritually. It's a joining of two souls spiritually. And go, it's a it's a joining. It's a it's a it's a putting together two different souls spiritually. That soul tie. It's a, the, those two souls comes together and are joined together spiritually. So in the marriage concept, that concept it's a, it's a very good concept and it's a ordained by God. If you go into the book of in the book of um, Ephesians five, I can read from verse twenty five to thirty two. We see uh, 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 the Bible says that as man loves your wife as Christ loves the church, God expect us men when we get married to protect our wives to love them, you know, as Christ loved the church. You know, the Bible says Christ even gave up his life for the church he gave up his life he died on the cross he suffered so that the church will be holy and righteous and presentable before his father so the same way as as a man uh, god wants us to go to certain sacrifices to somebody that we say we love we have to love our wives we have to stand for them we have to fight for them and um as in my view of marriage i see men as the adam of the of the house the, the leader of the house and the wife comes as a helper and everything. So now we, we I want us to talk about uh, the second kind of soul tie. I have a, a, a notebook here. Uh, I wrote it down here uh, so that I want to give you uh, an accurate information about that. Uh, so and a godly soul tie is a spiritual illegal joining of soul. It's a spiritual illegal way of joining soul. Why? Because it's illegal. Because it's not overseen by God. It's it outside marriage. The reason why we call it, it illegal. So now it involves any vow. Wow. Any vow. Any promise. Or any covenant that one makes with another man. When there's these things involved, there's a, there's a covenant, there's a promise, there's a vow involved. There's a match, match percentage that a soul ties is going to be uh, created there and it, 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 it's a it, everything made outside the marriage why because we understand here why i'm talking about the vow i'm talking about the promise i'm talking about the uh the the, the covenant why because when two people come together in the marriage they speak they pro they confess to each other what they're gonna they confess to each other the confessing making vow making promises it's very important so when you do it outside marriage uh, you're creating some soul tie and there's also other way that we're creating soul tie it's true sex that is the most popular soul ties it's true sex um in this generation i know that a lot of people are going to clash over this video about the promises because a lot of people promise each other marriages but they know they will not get married they promise each other the world but they know they don't mean what they're saying uh today i'm telling you as a christian as a believer we mustn't um say things that we don't mean because we're creating some soul ties and um i'm going i wrote it uh, i wrote another point here where is it um yeah 
years. Uh, for example, a man who never met. Okay, so I there's another topic uh, I talk about. We created soul ties to the idol to pornography. When when you you watching pornography and you lasting after a celebrity and masturbating over them, you are creating a soul tie between you and that celebrity. So there's some people are, are, have soul tie with some celebrities. They have soul ties with some porn star. That's a, they have celebrity too. They have soul tie too and holy and godly people out there because of masturbation because of pornography because of the last after somebody and they masturbated over that and it's a very very important for us to repent and be delivered over that uh you might say what where does that that do, do, do i get that from uh let's go in the book of uh matthew 15 um 19 to 20 jesus i understand it on what sin is so i read in the name of jesus now, God takes a harsh view to our sexual sin. He takes a very harsh view to our sex, uh, sex uh, sin. So, the Bible says here, uh, Jesus said uh, that whoever look at a woman, in the book of the book of Matthew 15, 19 to 20, whoever looks at a woman and lasts after them, have already committed adultery with that woman. So, spiritually, when you last after a celebrity, it's a, a, a porn, the reason why, I advise people to not watch porn. When you, you watch pornography, you last after that pornography, you're creating a soul tie between you and that uh, uh, that celebrity that you're lasting after. It's a reason why we have to be very careful about soul ties. And as a believer, as a Christian, we have to be careful that we don't make covenant. You are a man, you don't make covenant for a woman as a marriage. You're creating a soul tie. And we don't vow to any woman than our wives of us soul ties may god bless you i hope that this little teaching um find you well may god bless you